Hey guys, it's BuilderDude35 with the first episode in my series of five videos on pneumatic systems, and today we're going to be learning about compressors. So, for the first video in the series, I'm going to be going over compressors. And now, first, the compressor's job in a pneumatic system is to take in air from the atmosphere and then pump it out through this little port and this air is going to go to whatever you have attached to it, whether that be uh, pneumatic tubes or pistons or whatever, all of which I'll be going over uh, in later in the series. Anyway, you'll notice that the compressor looks similar to the piston with one key difference is that it only has one port whereas the piston has two. And this only port is an, um, an output port. There is no input. And uh, what this does is what you want it to do is continually extend and retract like this. What it does is when it extends, it sucks in air, and then when it contracts again, it's going to push that air out of this output port and into whatever is attached to it, as I mentioned before. And if you're using this with um, a robot, you want to make the compressor motorized, what you can do is, what I recommend, put it on some kind of crank on the motor, like I'm demonstrating with a media motor here, you see this is on a crank, so when we turn it on, it's continuously extending and retracting the compressor so that it can uh, intake and then pump the air out over and over again repeatedly. And I personally recommend using the medium motor because it has a fast enough RPM. You can also use an EV3 medium motor because they're similar shape and just gear it up. Another important note when using compressors is to make sure that you're getting the full stroke. And what I mean by this is when it's attached to your motor, it should come down all the way and then come up all the way. If you don't get this full motion, this full stroke, it's not going to uh, either suck in the air properly or pump it out properly. On this specific compressor, it has a stroke of three studs. So you see when it's in its bottom dead position, that's one stud. It's kind of in the middle position, that's the second stud. And then in the top position, that's the third stud. So it's a stroke of three studs. And with this specific presser, uh, compressor, you need to make sure that it's coming all the way down and then all the way up. Not too far either when it's hyperextending and then smashing back down again onto the compressor when it comes down. One additional note is that the larger the compressor, the more air it'll pump. Pictured here is the second type of compressor that LEGO makes, and this is a larger compressor than the one I was just showing a few minutes ago, so it's going to pump more air in a shorter amount of time. This is a little different design too, because as you see it has a spring on its axle there, and the reason for this is it's a, a manual pumping compressor, where a person would manually pump it, where they would press it down, and then the spring would return it back up again and uh, this is another route you can do if instead of a motorized compressor you want to pre-pump your air manually uh, with a person pumping thanks for watching my tutorial this week if you found it helpful be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week and if you have an idea for a tutorial be sure to submit it in the comments section below thank you and I'll see you next time bye